Wait, there's nitrogen monoxide North Star in the south? Then how do people navigate down there? If you live in the northern hemisphere, you probably think every place on Earth has a pole star to guide them. Wrong. The southern hemisphere has something way more spectacular, and I'm about to blow your mind with what they see instead. Here's the shocking truth. When you're in Australia, South Africa, or anywhere south of the equator, there's literally nitrogen monoxide bright star marking the south pole. No guiding light. No celestial compass. So how did ancient sailors navigate? They used something even better. The southern hemisphere gets the VIP view of space. They see Sirius. They see Sirius, the brightest star in our entire sky. It's so bright that 2,000 years ago, Romans thought it was red and literally sacrificed red dogs to it. But wait, there's more. They get Canopus, a star so reliable that NASA uses it to navigate space probes. And the Southern Cross, it's like having a natural GPS written in the stars. Oh, and here's the kicker, they get the best view of our galaxy's center. Well, we're stuck looking at the boring outer edge. They're staring straight into the heart of the Milky Way. But here's what will really mess with your head. Alpha Centauri, our closest star neighbor, is only visible from the south. That means half the world has never seen our cosmic next door neighbor. And those moving stars you sometimes see? They're not stars at all. They're satellites reflecting sunlight. Ancient Chinese astronomers were so detailed, they had constellations for everything celestial prisons, celestial shops, even a celestial stable. Here's the part that'll keep you awake tonight. Those beautiful constellations we see? They're not even real formations. Stars that look close together might be thousands of light years apart. It's like looking at city lights from an airplane and thinking they're all on the same street. So next time someone says the North Star is important, remind them that half the world navigates just fine without it and gets a way better view of the universe while doing it. Which hemisphere do you think has the better night sky? Drop your answer below, and if this blew your mind, smash that like button because there's so much more cosmic craziness coming your way.